In this example, we're going to go ahead and calculate the energy associated with a wave of red light whose wavelength is given at 680 nanometers. So as is the case with any problem using wavelength and you need to find the energy associated with that wavelength, you're going to use E equals HC over lambda as your starting point. And one thing we can go ahead and do automatically this time around is just use the shortcut for HC, which states that the variables multiplied together are equal to 1240 EV nanometers. And the way you calculate that is by multiplying H by C and then converting from joules to electron volts and meters to nanometers, but that's done in a previous example. If you haven't had a chance to watch that video, go ahead and do that at this point before you come back and continue this one. But assuming we already know how to go ahead and get HC equals 1240 EV nanometers, we can just assume that we don't need the constants that have been given in our problem here, so this is irrelevant to us this time around. But going back to the actual problem of the red wavelength that we've been given, you have E equals 1240 EV nanometers divided by the wavelength in the problem, which is 680. The nanometers up top cancel with the nanometers down at the bottom, and now we have 1240 divided by 680, and the units that we're going to be getting are electron volts, which is exactly what you want, since that's a unit that's associated with energy. So when you divide 1240 by 680, you get 1.8235, blah, 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 electron volts. So generally, when we're dealing with an example like this one, and we have a really, really long decimal answer, we need to round off to the proper amount of significant figures. And in order to do that, we'll take a look at the number in the original problem, which in this case has two significant figures, the six and the eight. So when we come back to our answer down here, we'll have to cut off after the second digit, since both the first and the second numbers in this answer are significant since they're non-zero, so they count. In order for us to determine are we leaving this number as 1.8 electron volts or do we need to round it up or down, we'll look at the next number immediately following that cutoff point, and with that number being a 2, we're just going to go ahead and leave 1.8 as 1.8. So you can round it off and get your final answer as 1.8 electron volts. And that's the amount of energy associated with this red light.